30 degree offset. So what we're trying to do is we're trying to change directions. We're going over an object. Okay? Uh, an offset looks like so with two 30 degree bends. Unlike your 90s where you're only bending one, you're going to actually bend two to, make, to change directions. Okay? Uh, multiplier for a 30 degree offset is two. Okay? So if we have a four inch obstruction, we have to multiply the four by the two, which will give us eight. You're going to make your first mark. Now, we are not talking about shrinkage at this point. Okay? We'll talk about shrinkage in another, in another video. What we're going to do is we're going to make our first mark. When I show you how to do it on a pipe, then what we're going to do is I'll explain that better. Our first mark, pretty much we can do whatever we want. The second mark is going to be the actual obstruction times the multiplier distance between A and B mark. Okay? <clears throat> when we bite, we're doing half inch conduit, we need a measuring tape, and we need a pencil. Our first mark, our first mark, we're just going to pick. We're going to call this six inches. Okay? So we're going to make a mark at six inches. We're going over, we're doing a four inch offset, so we're going to go from the, sec, from the first mark and make our second mark. Four inches times two is eight. So we're going to make our mark. Okay? The key to this is to make sure you make your mark all the way around the conduit so that we can slide it into our bender. Once we make our marks, we look at the bender. We're looking to do 30 degree bend. So on our bender, we're looking to have the back of the pipe or the bottom of the pipe to be in line with this 30 degree mark. Okay, we stand the bender up. We take our first mark, we slide it into the, into the bender. And we use the arrow, okay, we use the arrow. Want to make sure we've got good stability, lock our foot in place, and we're going to bend it. We're going to bend it down to the 30 degree mark. One thing you want to remember, always keep the bend in front of you. So we're going to slide it forward, we're going to rotate it 180 degrees, we're going to put it back on the mark. We're going to line it up. One thing we don't want to have is a dog leg. And we're going to bend the next bend down to 30 degrees. Okay. Once we're done, we eyeball it. Make sure it's straight. We look at it. And that's how we bend a 30 degree uh, offset going over a four inch obstruction.